All right, it seems that it's not very straightforward to uh, set up the Nginx proxy manager as a load balancer. Um, there is a couple of issues on uh, GitHub trying to ask about it. Um, yeah, and it's not very straightforward, so I'm just going to make a quick video on how to do it. Uh, the setup is very simple, so what I'm using is a uh, Docker, and I'm using Docker Compose to basically generate an uh, image with the uh, NGX proxy manager uh, on the port 80. And then I have two servers, like just quick um, Node.js apps. So if I um, go to my localhost 3000, I have the server one. If I go to, NG, uh, to localhost 3001, I have server two. Uh, so that's basically the setup. It's uh, very straightforward, like the normal thing that you would do is you create like a new proxy host, right? So let's uh, say that I would create a ntest.localhost something, right? And then what you normally would do is, okay, I want to point to server 1 on port 3000 and this should now create a new proxy host that if I click on it, you go to server one. And then of course, if I edit to server two, then yeah, sure enough, you go to server two. Very straightforward. Now the problem is when you actually want to load balance it, right? Uh, and the documentation does not have like a proper way to show how to do it. It just points in the direction that you should uh, use the advanced settings, but it's a little bit confusing. So there is two steps that you need to follow to get this working. So the first one is actually to set the upstream. So one thing that you can do uh, when, are you when you are using VS Code with Docker extension, you can attach a Visual Studio Code to the Docker uh, that you are running. In this case, the uh, Nginx proxy manager. I already have this open and it's like over here. Let me just uh, close that one. So everything from Nginx kind of starts uh, on this directory here that is at, at TC, at TC, at TC, maybe. Then you have Nginx and then you have the Nginx conf, right? And the way that this works is um, you can. Okay, so there is a di the definition of the Nginx service server, and then there is the template system that the Nginx proxy manager uses, right? So everything that is here, including resolvers, including like this, you can imagine that this expands uh, with uh, the exact thing that it's uh, beneath this file. Okay, so maybe I'm not explaining myself very good, but let's imagine so for instance, uh, your proc proxy host is not defined on the nginx.conf per se, but it's defined on the nginx proxy host.conf. So if you go now to, to data and you go to nginx and you go to proxy host, okay, you have the proxy host. So you can imagine that these lines over here are being expanded on this, um, on this line here, right? Because of this include. So this is the base of what we are going to do. So the first thing that we actually need to do is uh, go to the um, go to the data. Uh, then you would go. So uh, by default, you don't have this directory here, custom under Nginx under data. But this uh, folder is actually very important, so you can create it. So if it's not already created, you can create a new folder. And then after you create a new folder, you need to create a new uh, file that is going to be http.conf. Okay, and your up upstream servers are going to be here, okay? So I'm just going to copy paste. I have it already here on my right side. So this is more or less what we see, right? So if I go to my browser again, this would be the one that uh, is pointing to the server one. This is, is going to be the one that is going to be to the server two. Actually, that's a typo. It should be working like this. So now you have your upstream servers on the conf that is on the custom uh, directory from Nginx data. And if I go to 
uh, the Zenjinx conf where everything is started, I'm going to see that I have also the include for that one, right? By default, a custom directory does not exist, but as long as you have the includes pointing to this uh, directory, he will pick up on the on the file that you put there. So you can imagine that my upstreams now are right here are being expanded here. So far, so good, correct? Sure, but then uh, I actually want to point to my upstream servers and this I think that's the most complicated part. So for that we are going to focus on the proxy host. So it's going to be this one. And this is the one that you uh, generate using the front end, right? So uh, pay attention to this uh, server right here. So if I come to my uh, front end and I edit, I want to point now to the server one. I save it. You see, so this updates the file itself. Makes sense? So, okay. What happens if I just come to to my advance and put something here? Let's try it out. So if I put like just a comment, where does the comment appear here? Okay, so it means that somehow I need to override this vocation that's basically going to point to my upstream server. But there is one thing, and this is th the one that is the tricky, because this uh, vocation wants to include by itself this conf that includes proxy.conf. And that is basically this one. So, and you, what you actually want to uh, swap out is this proxy pass. So you actually want to say like something uh, like he this should be pointing to your upstream server, right? But you cannot just edit this right here because there is no way to edit this file as you uh, remember. Like when I edit uh, this thing over here, it just edits the uh, this part right here, right? So the trick uh, is to for you to grab the location uh, and put it over here. You can even remove the extra lines. Let me save it. Okay, now you are controlling the location via the advanced settings, settings from the NGX manager. Okay, and that's good because now what I actually can do is so because I actually want to edit the um, the proxy pass that is here, well, then I just copy it over and then I put it here because there is no way f from my advanced settings to edit this file. That's okay. It's just a template system. So I it means that I can just put this over here, right? So, and then everything appears here and I have, I have basically all the control on what then, uh, appears here and what is defined on this vocation uh, block and that's okay i did not break anything so far if i go here i still point to server one everything is fine and dandy and even if i uh, point to server two i still have uh, everything working it just points to server two okay i hope that is making sense because now the magic is uh, if I come here and I, instead of pointing to these guys, just point to HTTP to backend with a comma. Uh, and actually I should not edit it here. Sorry. I, I need to edit it, uh, here. Okay. And then server one, server two. You see? Magic. So it's not very straightforward, but you can do it, right? So it's just about understanding that uh, the way that Nginx uh, proxy manager is working is by using the template uh, system. And you need to think about the includes as something that it expands. And you need to think, okay, uh, the only thing that I can control on the advanced settings uh, is the proxy host, so I need to work that out. But uh, very straightforward, hopefully I help you guys because 
this uh, was also not very straightforward for me. Uh, but yeah, thank you.